What's smashing y'all? Today I'm gonna talk to you about how you can resize your emotes and your banners on a free open image editor called GIMP. So let's talk about it. First off, you have to go to GIMP.org and you know you're there when you see this cute little logo. And if I can compare GIMP to anything, it'll be close to Adobe Photoshop. So if you ever messed with Photoshop before, you're in the right place. And if you never messed with GIMP before, once you download it and you open it up, I'm gonna walk you through the next few steps. And it's simple, I'm not trying to do any artwork right now, I'm not trying to edit anything. Maybe resize if I have to, you know, play with it once I save it and see how it looks on kick.com. But besides that, I just wanna be able to resize my banners and my emotes, save them so it can be used on not only kick, but once I understand the pixels on any platform. So I'm gonna open up my GIMP and it'll pop up on the screen. And if you ever use Adobe, you know, this looks kind of familiar. And I'm just gonna go straight into it. We're gonna go file. I'm gonna create new. The first thing I wanna work on kick is on a banner. And the banner size on kick is 1280 by 700. Boom, just to confirm, so you know, I'm on kick. Uh, smash OTG if you want to drop a follow I appreciate it if you learn anything here if you download GIMP and you use it to resize your emotes and your banners just so you have it on the platform so just so it could look nice please smash that subscribe button or hit a like I appreciate it anyways this is my kick and right here it says edit banner and I was right it's 1280 by 700 pixels that's all you have to understand the PX stands for pixels and when you make a new format in GIMP there you go you can set your own pixels so now I have my Adobe open because to be honest, that's what I use, but I'm here because I want to help other content creators. And if there's free software out there like GIMP, then I'm going to talk about it. Because if you want to develop yourself as a content creator, if you want to make thumbnails, if you want to make business cards, if you want to make whatever you want to make for your channel, uh, panels and all that stuff, then this is a free software that will allow you to do that. And for the most part, all you have to do is just drop things that you already have. So I'm bringing down my panel for, let's say, my Twitch banner that I use. I have it saved as a PNG file. And when I drop it in, it fits it right in the middle. And I actually kind of like how that looks. Because when you're on mobile, um, usually it just has my information on one side and me in the middle is kind of middle because they have a build with video. So I'm actually going to save it just like this. Well, you're like, wait, how do I save it? You have to export it. And since we're using it as a banner, we're going to have to export it as a JPEG. Let's name it Kick Banner. And my documents. I say nope, boop. And GIMP edits, boof. And how are we saving it as? Select file type by extension. I'm going to go down to JPEG. JPEG image. Press export. It's going to ask me the quality I want it. I have as 90%. And then I'm just going to hit export. Now when it exports, all I have to do is go to kick.com. Hit edit banner image. Upload from local device. Find it where I just put it, which is in my username. So this PC, yeah. local disk, users, smash, GIMP edits, bangers, and there's my banner. And it looks awesome. It looks amazing. I think it looks dope. I feel like it fits there perfectly. But not only that, let, let's leave it be there. And let's actually look what it looks like on the channel. Banger on kick.com and it was that easy. All I had to do was resize it. I actually kind of like the white borders because it gives it kind of a background. I might change the color, might make it black, might make it gray to blend in with the background or just leave it like a border like that. I kind of like it. And now we can do the same thing for emotes. You go through the process, you go to creator dashboard, you go to community, you go to emotes. When you want to upload your emotes, you click the plus sign and you can click the plus sign again. You see here it says it has to be 500 by 500. So now that we finish this, I'm going to close it out. I'm not even going to save it. 
And now I'm going to open up one of my emotes in GIMP. You can see GIMP pop up one more time. And I'm just going to drag over one of my emotes. One of the emotes that I have made uh, myself, actually, that I took images from an artist that made images for me. And I started using them for myself. So let's bring over. They said it had to be 500 by 500, right? So 500 by 500. And if you paid for an emo, you should have an HD version of it, or at least a vector image. That means you don't lose quality regardless of how big or how small it is. So hopefully you do, and you can just drop it and save it and then use it. So I'm gonna drop my rip smash. It's probably one of my favorite emotes and my chat usually uses it when I die. So I'm gonna click on my background and I'm actually gonna get rid of it. And now I have a transparent emote. Sorry, it took me a second there. Uh, so now I'm just gonna go file. I'm gonna go to export. And this time, because it's an emote, you're not going to save it as a JPEG. You're going to save it as a PNG. So we're going to go into my name, my GIMP edits, and we're going to change it to rip kick emote. And we're going to give it a PNG because right here, we're going to select the file type. We're going to go down to PNG image just to make sure. Click export. Export. And now I'll go to my folder. And I'll go to kick.com. I'm gonna go add an emote. I have my rip kick emote. Upload it. And I put smash RIP. Add. And I'm done. And this is the emotes that I used on Twitch. These are stickers I use on Facebook and now the emails that I use on kick.com. So if you learned anything here, please, please, please smash that follow button or smash that subscribe and hit that like. I appreciate you. Um, I've been dropping content for almost 19 weeks now. Uh, next week is going to be my 20th week. I am going to do a giveaway. Uh, it's going to be a code in one of my videos and I'm going to break it down in sections. So if you're reading that code, It'll probably be like an xbox gift card or something like that so you know i'm big on xbox um as always as always my name is smash you're watching the what's smashing web show it comes out friday nine o'clock eastern on youtube exclusively and as always i hope you have a smashing day i'm out peace